guys, this is my second video. It's sped up mainly through the majority of it to where I'm getting to. Because when I start out playing Dark Souls, I don't start out like the typical person does. I start out running through areas to get things to help me sooner Whoa. and quicker. And I strongly recommend doing this without, like, follow what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm going too fast. There is a blacksmith right here that a ton of people don't know about. Um, I bet you Matt didn't know about it over here. I found him. I found it out eventually, but it took me a while to find it. This is the best, uh, the S-Dock is one of the best weapons for parrying and stuff like that. Yeah, it does like an increased amount of damage for it. No way. Yeah, it's really good. Um, the translucent cur transparent curse, uh -huh. um, it, it curses you if you don't know, and it doesn't kill you so you can go ahead and attack all these ghosts. I'm sorry I'm a little bit laggy right here. This I lag through this area whenever I come here. When, except when the water's down. Wait, the water goes away? Yes, this water goes away. But that will be in another video. <laughs> okay, I did not know this. Yes. Oh, and uh, where I'm going, I'm getting an S and and the uh, third S the Estus flask, which this is the one. If you get this and you get all three of them, the uh, what what's her name? Her lady doesn't have a tongue who can't talk. Uh, Anastasia. Will disappear before. Um, you, uh, before the guy kills her. She'll disappear instantly. And then I got it, and you might as well just die unless you really want the 2,000 souls, which you get back in like a minute. It's not, uh, really important, really. And then, I just, this lady is the one that disappears once you grab all three of them. Anastasia. Yeah, Anastasia. And this makes it so, you know, you can heal, and you already have a plus one, and you don't have to already fight a boss. That is quite nifty. Yeah, see? You didn't have to do much for it. Now here I'm going through the basic areas that are close that Pinterest a lot of people... Is such a dick. Oh, I hate that kid. <laughs> He's not a grown man. <laughs> a grown man would not do what he does. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, future videos. <laughs> Foreshadowing! Right. I'm just, a lot of people don't know this is here. On my other YouTube account, which I don't use anymore, I showed people how to get rid of the curse, and they were like, well, where to get the cracked red eye orbs from? I thought you started with it. But you actually get them right there in that first chest I grabbed. Which is underneath the elevators, if any of you didn't notice that. Yes, you just fall there. Then here I grew this wielder. Oh, wing spear. I like that one. Yeah, I thought about basing my build off this, but I was like, nah, it's doing too much. Yeah. And the Zween Hender. Yeah, the Zween Hender. And then, well, I've found out a lot of people don't know about this. I didn't. If you start out picking the binoculars, you're an idiot. Because you can get it right there at the beginning of the game. <laughs> nice dodge. Oh, I know, right? And then there's a couple more souls you can grab. Uh, like the Nameless Soldiers. And down there is how you go all the way down to a Giants and such. I do not recommend going down there at the beginning because you don't have a Divine Weapon. And fighting the Necromancers is annoying in itself. Yes. Extremely. And here I take the wrong path. I'm supposed to go a little bit more left instead of oh. falling forward. Yep. I'm like, hope I can fit through here. I better be able to. And I dodge and attack. Oh, dang. <laughs> is that bleed damage? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. And here's another soul. Oh! The good thing that when I was stunned, it made us think he could attack me. And then here I am fast forwarding again until I'm just running. No, he just, he just turned on his <laughs> warp drive. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry, I showed you that one, I think. Oh, no. And then you can also walk across. If you ever see, like, uh, the writing on top of there, that's how you get to it. Because a lot of people sit there and troll you, and you'd be like, how do I get up there, man? And here's where I was like, no, I don't need to start playing this game. I need to grab two more things. Uh, technically three. I could grab four, but I'm not too <laughs> sure which one it is. You'll see it in a minute. Oh, don't leave up. That just sounds beautiful and it's so fast. Blurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, right? Motion blur is where it's at. All the cool kids are doing it. Here's a little soul you can pick up. <coughs> um, then you go to the right. Up these stairs. Out the door. You have to have the master key for it to go to the Valley of the Drakes. If you go to the right, you enter the you enter Blight Town. The back entrance to Blight Town, which is the one you're supposed to actually leave from. If you play the game correctly. Who does that? I mean... Yeah, exactly. There's no real way to play this game. It's just based off, you know, point, point direction every once in a while. 
Nothing too much. What is that? I'll show you uh, in another video. I kill that. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you notice, you can go ahead and say it. Feel free. It looks like a sleeping dragon. Exactly. Okay, this you can pick up without him waking up. I did not know that. Yes. And then on the two you saw before, you can pick up the one that is not the sword and he doesn't wake up. Oh. But if you pick up a, so a store of straight sword, uh -huh. he wakes up and just starts trying to murk you. Well, see, I, 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 went, I went pro status and totally grabbed it and then dodged and died and came back and grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> And here's along the edge of the Valley of the Drakes. Um, it's a back entrance to the uh, forest where the uh, nine-headed thing is. I don't remember the, the name. Hydra. Of it. Yeah, the Hydra. We'll lead you back there. Adventure. No. Yeah. If you take a right after here and then to the left and follow the wall, it'll eventually lead you to it, but that's not important. There's a bonfire there as well. He needs that. And then here's where you get all of the bandit starting gear. If you weren't aware, right here behind this dragon, all the bandits starting here. And I got lagged up on the dragon. I'm like, oh crap, go away, I'm gonna die. My game was just buggy right here. I'm like, okay, I'm alive. Like, where am I? Trying to get my bearings. And then here, one of the best rings in this game, in my opinion. Because you can one hit so many bosses with this if you're stack your character pretty good. <laughs> Dragons can't climb ladders. Apparently they, they can't fail. Yeah, they can't fly either. Yeah, Red steer, tear stone ring. So when you're low health, like, was it 10% or 20%? I think it's 20. It gives you, like, you do double damage. It's the non-defense version of the blue tear stone ring, which you get the bird. Oh, yeah, I think so. Nice! Jumping attack added 10 damage to them. What a fail <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's how I just... This is what I wanted to show you, because this is what I do in the beginning of the game when I grab everything. It's all super simple. Thanks for watching our videos. If you like what we do and you want to see more, click that yellow button. And if you haven't seen our previous episodes, click the bottom left button. Now, if you really want to see what we did next, click the button to the right. See you bros later. <laughs>